talk to Johnny. Hello! Hello, John. You're supposed to be dead. Guess I missed the memo. And all those mad dogs, the one that needed to be put down still wagging his tail around. I need some information, John. Where can I find you? I cannot tell you that. There's client confidentiality. I'll make it worth your while. Oh? You give me Junior, and I'll hand over the girl. You're bluffing. You know me long enough to know that I always play it straight. It's too large a risk for me. I'm a man who likes sure things, and Junior's promised me a sure thing already. Junior is a cancer to this organization. He's got too much blood on his hands, too many enemies. And you know that the Fed's got tapped so far up his arse that you can't even squeeze out the fart without the DA knowing about it. And then one day, all that red is gonna come trickling down. And if you're at the end of one of these ropes, you're gonna get all white. Too. Well, lucky fast, he's already got a pretty good severance package laid out just in case anything were to go down and with the Fed. Which the DEA will strip from you the moment that money goes thrown into those accounts. I don't like the way you handle business, vet. I'll just tell how it is. I've known Junior's family for years. There's already roots there, you understand? He's done all right by me. I'm not willing to break off that kind of trust. You always do it the hard way. What? <laughs> You're fucking crazy, man! That's nothing, Johnny! Nothing compared to what Junior did to me and my boy! You know he is, don't you? Yes! Yes! Tell me where I can find Ralph Jr. So? I'm just supervising the floor. Uh-huh. What? Man, I see you looking at him. No, I wasn't. So you mean to tell me you don't like her then? She's a burden, that's all. Then you won't mind if I go eat breakfast with you, will you? You can do what you want. It'll have to be off the clock. Cha-chang. What's up, girl? Good morning. How's the big guy doing? He's fine. Hey, is there any chance of me joining y'all for breakfast? I don't think that's such a good idea. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, you want some coffee? No thanks. It's all good, more for me. I'm totally not in the mood for this. The sky is so clear. It's beautiful, right? It's like getting back in contact with nature. Yeah. This must be what it felt like to be a caveman, or well, in your case, feels like. Weird, huh, Maya? I like weird. One phone call. Hey. I hope you don't mind me rambling on, you know, I just think a lot. I'm not like one of these fools that a series I'll never understand head. But you're smarter than that, aren't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. see, 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 you understand. From the moment I saw you, I said, there's a little bit of smart. smart. One phone call and I could be out of here. 
guess you got me all figured out. Don't you? Disappear completely. Listen, how about you do me a small favor? Well, you know, I gotta get back to work pretty soon. Uh, I will talk about it tonight over dinner. Are you sure you can't help me? I would really, really appreciate it. I just don't know who else to ask. Are you a girl? Anything. Great! You're such a lifesaver. Well, let's go. Where are we going? Back to my room. Hallelujah, Lord. Damn, man. The girl playing games with my head. I'll be like TV, though, man. Hotel. Can you call Kat for me? Don't you have a phone? No, I can't. I mean, I don't have one. You can use mine. No. Please, can you just call one for me? Thank you. I don't think that's such a good idea. What's the problem? For starters, that boy in your room? You can't just leave him up there, can you? What, are you off duty? I've got Blondie up there watching him. You have who doing what? He's supposed to be working. Here. To make up for his lost wages. I'm sure it's more than enough. Blondie's never taken care of a person in his life. All he has to do is make sure he doesn't fall over. That's it. Any change in his condition, and this will go off. But I don't see how that's any of your business anyways. Isn't that why we're paying you? to keep your eyes and mouth shut. Having that boy die, that is my problem. Especially if it happens in my hotel. Listen, I'm only going out to get a few necessities. I'll hurry back. I'll get them for you. We have a lot of things in storage. I just need to get out of the building. I'm sure you wouldn't want for me to cause a commotion in front of everyone, correct? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll die. We have a customer that needs a cab. You understood that, didn't you? Cab will be here in five or ten minutes. You happy? Very. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but this time, you can't come with me. Hey! What's this? It's too big to be a tip. It's not a tip. It's shut up and do what I need you to do, money! You know what? Take your cash, I don't want it. Fine. You know what? I only did that because you're being such a douchebag in there! You're not one of my customers, okay? I don't have to put up with your shit. You think what you're doing to that boy upstairs is fair? He should be in a hospital, not in a hotel! Don't you think I know that? Now back the hell up out of my face! Go away! You are such a pain! <laughs> 